because, I don't know. Well, I think because they are, for them, scared. They're scared and they think it and it does no good for them. It's no good for them. But we, we have another perspective. So are you from here? Uh, actually, yeah, I have been here for 15 years. Um, I was born in Mon State. This is the southern part of Myanmar. Okay. Uh, when I was a university student, yeah, I came here in Myanmar. When was that? More than 15 years. Okay, yeah. so things have changed. Uh, seven. Yeah. Things 19, have changed yes, since exactly. that. And uh, even myself is uh, gay and I'm living with HIV. And my, my parents, are, they do not accept me you know, being as a gay. So, so especially, uh, yeah, especially, uh, especially my father, when he, when he, when he is drunk and he, some, yeah, he tried to abuse me and he tried to yell our yeah, sad, sad, sad abuse words in front of other people. Yeah, it, makes me um, shy and then I yeah th this is one of the driving factor to um, how to say to move away from my home okay. yeah now I'm staying alone okay. yeah. but but I really love my family uh, actually they are they are dependents uh, on me I am the only one you know, bread maker so I love them and I can't tip up them but it's impossible to stay together with them at the same house. They try to uh, engage me with, uh, with girls yeah, three times already. I tried to escape. Uh, I, I told them that I, I wasn't interested in girls. I'm just uh, women. I'm just uh, interested in men. So he, uh, my father didn't accept. When was that? How old were you? Yeah, it, uh, the first time was uh, when I was uh, about 18 years old and when I got my graduation, yeah, my father tried again and then... Uh, tried what? Yeah, tried to engage uh, with uh, another Find woman. someone to yeah, marry yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, so... But you came so out I, to him when you were 18 then? Yes. Yeah. Okay, brave. Yeah. And then I finally uh, told them. Uh, I told them that uh, I I won't uh, stay together with them, and I will choose our um, uh, the partner what I want and whatever male or female. Uh, but for sure I'm I'm not uh, I won't choose a partner a female as a partner. You have any any story of coming out in a positive? Uh, experience like uh, acceptance or yeah to your best friend or even to your mom mm. yeah my 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 mother he realized me that yeah both both, both of my parents uh, they realized realized me that I'm uh, gay but my father is very uh, homophobic but my mother uh, it's uh, in between <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's not she is not as strong as my father because he, she, I think she loved me better than him. Uh, um, so, our culturally, the adults mostly, mostly the adults influence young people, and young people has to pay respect every time, even in the classroom. Yeah, they dare not complain. Even I didn't. I, 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 I complained at once. My teacher and my teacher scolded me. Don't do that again anymore. I'm older than you, he, uh, he said. Uh, later on, I dare not complain my teacher anymore. 
So this is the culture in this country. So the adults, are, um, yeah, the young people have to pay respect. They have to listen whether it is or they are correct or not. Yeah, they have to listen to them. Yeah, that's kind of what they assume is that this kind of being respect. So uh, on the other hand, on my perspective, this is the way of disempowerment. Yeah, the way of thinking. Um, uh, the, the scope yeah, that make young people narrow down. So, so what? Yeah, actually, I want I like to escape from that environment, and I encourage young people to be brave. So to uh, to accept yeah their existence. Yeah, I I accept uh, myself as a being as a gay. Okay, uh, I have my boyfriend. But my, my boyfriend has, uh, he has his girlfriend, he's uh, bisexual, and he never, um, uh, how do you say, he never showed me up together in front of the okay. uh, other people. So he's in the closet, he's, kind of, yeah. he's reserved, and yeah. is he afraid, or does, does his girlfriend know about you? No, she doesn't. He also uh, do not want me do not do not want his girlfriend. He doesn't want his girlfriend know of me. Okay. So Wow. And it's really hard to maintain the relationship. Um, um, well previously we are we were living together, staying uh, living at, at the same apartment. Uh, and then we how do you say uh, we separated and we we stay separately uh, because we have some conflict between us but we still uh, laughing uh, fell, fell in love with, with each other and uh, now uh, I'm working with the Alliance Myanmar um, uh, it, uh, it's uh, it's an organization uh, working with our community-based organizations and key population networks. It builds capacity, um, their capacity, and provides the financial support. Now we sometimes uh, conduct workshops and trainings. Now I'm working uh, with young key populations. Uh, we have uh, advocacy and sensitization campaign. In the campaign, uh, uh, I'm directed a role play, which is about uh, gay, uh, girlfriend, and bisexual, three triangle love. So it, it, it was shown, we show that, we showcased that play in the People Park okay. on our holiday, uh, June, 7 June, so just recently. Public? Yeah, public. And how was the reaction? Yeah, the, the reaction is, uh, yeah, yeah but some people like it, and some people, they, they've, uh, we noticed that they felt very strange how oh, a man is fell in love with another man. And, and do you think that the, this, those people that do not really like the idea of two men loving each other, do you think, why do they think like that? Is it because lack of knowledge? Yes. Is it purely discrimination and hate? What is it? Hmm. Yeah, maybe both. Both are. Some people have. Are, are the, 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 the coverage of knowledge, what do you say? Yeah. Most of the people, especially in the uh, urban, yeah, urban areas, yeah, they, they have much more knowledge than the rural. Uh, it, but in the movie, Burmese movies, uh, the, in the videos and movies, they, they, have, uh, they have some gay characters, but they do not show the real life of a gay, just a funny character. Mm. They use as a funny character, like that's kind of... Ridicularize. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, sure. And you said that you live with HIV, right? Yes. And when did you find out about your HIV status? Yeah, I, I, I was tested, I tested positive, and I, know my, I knew my students on 2007. 2007? Yes. So it's been eight years now. Yes. And how, how was it? How was it to to find out, and how did you oh. react? And... Oh yeah, actually, I had very limited uh, knowledge 
and I even didn't interested in the HIV infection. I thought that it 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 doesn't uh, it didn't relate with me. It 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 was not my concern. My myth was that even I am a gay man, and uh, I was study I study very hard. Actually, I'm an engineer, and when I got the degree, I joined with the government, and I uh, work as a university lecturer. Then I got in two thousand yeah six, I got an opportunity to go abroad for my father's study, uh, and uh, the, this is the government to government program, and uh, they asked me to have a medical checkup. They test every uh, diseases and infection. And finally, I knew my status uh, positive without counseling, and I got shunned. I even don't know how I got this infection from. Yeah, finally, I realized that it, it was my from my first sex partner. Yeah, because we didn't use any protection, any condom, yeah, and and then I really shy to buy a condom from a. A drugstore or supermarket, and then the condom is not that available, uh, widely available at that time. And yeah, actually, myself is very uh, limited. I have I have very limited knowledge, yeah, about the you know, sexual health and uh, what do you say the sexually infected infection, yeah, STI, mm -hmm. transmitted infection. So. So I was, I have been walk, I was walking under the rain when I knew my status. I even didn't know what, what, what's happening on me and how to survive or how to go forward. And I consulted with my professor and she advised me to disclose the status to the minister. So I wrote to a minister personal letter in terms of personal letter and the minister yeah the he he or how do you say he transferred me to Yangon. Then at that time I thought that he was very generous and he was very kindful to me. And after six months, six and seven months, I, I got very well and our uh, um I got my ERV treatment and yeah, I can work very well. I go to the classes and giving lectures. Uh, a phone call coming in to my professor. Yeah, she are uh, the minister uh, advise her. Yeah, please uh, resign by myself. So he he forced me to resign from job because he do, he didn't want me anymore in his department only when he said only when my blood is tested negative again he would accept me so then that, that's impossible this is the minister minister of science and technology of the state of yeah of the state of the country yeah wow so, so my professor said he she also scared of the minister <laughs> and then she even couldn't protect me and i wrote the res resignation letter and i resigned from job i didn't i it took me for six months to have uh, another job it took me six months during that time i didn't tell my family that i was fired i didn't tell them i, I didn't tell them but I provide some tuition classes and I earn some money and I give my family, uh, I supported my family. And did you also disclose your status? Yes. And how was it, the reaction? Yeah, they, the, the, there is no specific reaction. They, they take care, uh, they are taking care of me. Yeah, they are very much taking care of me. Including your dad, your father? Yeah, my father. Yeah, they they are not uh, sensitive about the HIV status. They just reluct, uh, they just, uh, yeah, reluctant uh, for being a gay man. <laughs> and uh, how is the access to drugs here? 
ARV. Yeah, GRV. ARV drugs is yeah, it's more accessible. Yeah, it's widely covered. Uh, is it for free or have to pay? Yes, no. Uh, in in the NGO clinic and government clinic, we don't need to pay for. It. Sorry, but, uh, but some some people they do not want to disclose uh, who do not want to disclose their status. They treat at private clinic, uh, the specialist clinic, and they pay for at a higher price. Especially in the go as, uh, government hospitals, uh, there there are discrimination towards uh, gay men, gay men and transgender. So transgenders and gay men do not want to go to the government service facility. So to even to the hospital, they they scared of that. They they would be hospitalized. Even myself, I do not want to be hospitalized. I don't want to go to the hospital. I just want to go to a gay clinic. <laughs> um, because um, even, yeah, the eyes watching to us. I, I can bear, how to say, their eyes, the way they watch to us, the way they see to us. How is it? Sometimes uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But... Because, but um, that I'm, how to say, I sometimes neglect them. Yeah. Yeah. I accept myself, and I try to be, how to say, um, better and stronger in my life. Uh, I can involve more. I can involve more in the, in the gay gay community uh, for yeah, w working with rights, human rights and uh, the, the HIV and AIDS services because my stuff is living with HIV and I'm on ARV treatment. Yeah. So I share uh, with my uh, life experiences to my peers and uh, means of uh, ways of prevention or uh, information. So. Yes. And then I are, uh, yeah, mo mobilize even the, even the straight man Actually, the hidden gays are more vulnerable, uh, more vulnerable to HIV, so they sh they should have uh, access to information and services, and there could be no discrimination. Uh, there are some violence violence against uh, the transgender people and the hidden gay. Uh, yeah, there are still anti homophobia in the community. At the same time, there are some people who love gay community. Okay. Yeah. But, the, but it's a little bit, uh, uh, it's a change. Uh, yeah. Developing. Developing when compared with last 10 years ago. Yeah. Okay. 10 years ago. And, and, the situation. Do, do, and do you see, does the government interfere anyhow in the lives of LGBT efforts? Uh, yeah. Positively or negatively? Yeah. Actually, um, yeah, the, from the, how do you say? Laws perspective, the penal code uh, 377 threaten the gay community. The police, especially the police, you know, they abuse uh, power, their power. And uh, if they saw gay uh, talking uh, together in a dark or yeah, even on the street, uh, if they found that it is uh, abnormal, even they are not having sex. <laughs> they not are just even talking. kissing. Yeah, just they are not even kissing. They assume that gay will have sex with other men. Okay. So, so it, it is a problem just to be express your yeah. gender expression. expression. Yeah, expression. How do you see like the perspectives for the future for LGBT people and the LGBT movement? Mm -hmm. Yeah, now the color rainbows and the equality Myanmar. Yeah, they are very strong in the especially in, in the movement for the LGBT rights and they are trying to reform they are participating in reforming process of penal code three seven seven. Yeah. Yeah. And do you think they're gonna reform? Yeah, and they, they are still in the process. They still in the it it can be reformed. Yeah, I believe so. Because uh, I attended a seminar. In in the seminar there are some higher uh, how do you say uh, the okay, okay. legal the, the, the higher how do you say the law uh, 
enforcement officials yeah. attended uh, the Thai. The, this is a joint program of Thai and Myanmar. So Thai police explain the best practice of okay. the uh, the Thai uh, Thai police are how do you say uh, supporting the HIV/AIDS program, and even a client wants some condoms, they can ask from police, yeah, yeah. something like that. And police are providing the health education. So our police officer listened very, uh, how to say, <laughs> he got uh, so shocked sad, yeah. and he listened very strangely. And uh, he, he said that, is there any counseling service uh, to the gay men to return to, uh, to change to a man? So. And then the color rainbows are uh, defense that this is the human right. It cannot be changed by counseling. <laughs> yeah. But they threaten, they threaten that the, the gay men will be arrested. The penal code 377 is entitled for the gay, gay sex. So the, they, uh, yeah, most of the gay men are reluctant to assess the services because they do not want to know themselves as a gay man, homosexual, and they pretend to be <laughs> heterosexual. And even the counselor asks, even they are counsel, they may, some, sometimes they may lie, or they won't disclose their real sexuality. They may hide some portion, yeah. and they may disclose some portion. So that's not the, how do you say, uh, the main effective, issue. yeah, effective service they are receiving, so it's not the fully protection for them. So yeah, I can say uh, I would say that that yeah, it makes some barrier, some barrier, and the bar barrier to some extent to assess the services, not only people living with HIV but also are the gay men who doesn't have who doesn't have HIV, but who wants to assess the STI testing or other uh, sexual health, male sexual health services. Okay. Yeah. The, the, the rules doesn't support our community. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, will, I will be uh, in, in the gay community uh, together with them. Uh, yeah. I, will, yeah, I, I will be one of, the, one of the activists who will try to remove the Pinnacle 377. Yeah, that makes the barriers to access to services. And yeah, in fighting the stigma and discrimination. Now I, yeah, at that moment, and now and later on, I won't, uh, how do you say, uh, how do you say, I won't hide uh, my sexuality. And yeah, I would be more open up. And yeah. is that why you chose to be on camera? Because yes. many, many, many people there are a bit reluctant to talk to us. Sure. And what, but, what, what made you come? Uh, because uh, I, I like to talk, yeah, I like to talk about the uh, sexual orientation and a gay man's life, their life, and their existence. Some are, some do not uh, show up. And I like to facilitate them to show up who are hiding. Yes. And yeah, I do not want to, uh, uh, how do you say, get uh, them vulnerable like me because I was, I, I was vulnerable and I got infected because I didn't aware of, and did, I have uh, limited access to information and I was very strict under strictly control. I was under control and even. I didn't, uh, how do you say, disclose my sexual status at that time. Uh, but very, very interesting, very, a lot of things, no? I mean, but you're very strong. <laughs> it's, it probably gave you more thirst for fighting, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, because um, I, I'm, I'm strong enough or uh, because of my father and because of my HIV status and because of my boyfriend, uh, they they are yeah they are the, dr the driving force for me to go up higher. <laughs> yeah.